not even kidding, I've counted 74 I Heart Revolution palettes. You think you're surprised? <laughs> Didn't even know they had that many, but here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell from the title, I am doing an I Heart Revolution eyeshadow collection. This has been requested a couple of times actually. Um, I don't know where to begin. Let's begin back here. Yeah, I'm just gonna base this on eyeshadow palettes because if I did, the whole realm of I Heart Revolution of what I own, this video will go on forever. <laughs> We're just gonna talk about eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna quickly go through them because like I said, I've got about 74. So I'm not gonna go in depth of each individual palette. I'll just quickly show you what it is. And yeah, I've actually got an I Heart Revolution palette on my eyes today. I have got the lovely Galactic palette on. Let me see if I can try to find it over here. Not gonna lie, I did struggle with this a couple of times to get the look I wanted, but we got there. Using this today, I'm also wearing magnetic lashes. But enough of that, you came here for an I Heart Revolution collection. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Beth and I like to make videos on all things beauty and makeup, especially I Heart Revolution. This is why I'm doing this video today. If you like the sound of that, then go ahead and subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on with it. I'm like confused of where to start here. So I'm just gonna start off with my trolley here. I've got like a nice little I Heart Revolution trolley going on. I don't know if you can see. Line on top, we have got the Kooky collection. I have got the birthday cook, cook. I've got the birthday cake cookie, and I really need to whip through this video. We've got a pastel selection there. That was rated my top one out of the whole Kooky collection they got going on. Chocolate chip, I tend to wear this quite a bit for work. Just looks like that. We've got Red Velvet. Red Velvet is actually ranked number two in the cookie selection. We have got the Triple Chocolate Cookie. This was my least favorite because of the color selection. I'm just not vibing with it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just find it a bit random, but hey ho. I might do an order of food. Um, Let's see what else we got, okay. Okay, I'm gonna group these palettes what I'm gonna show you together because they actually came out together at the same time. So we have got Lemon Drizzle. I need to bash a look out with this again because it's been such a long time. It's, it looks absolutely lovely. I think I had problems with this purple last time, but the golds in here are magnificent. Along with that, we have the Macaroons. This needs to be another video as well. Someone actually requested a video on this again. So this is more on the blue side of things and some neutrals and some warm browns, cool tone greens. I, I really am a fan of this, now looking at it. It's great because I like to look at my collection because I do forget, so you can imagine. Oh, this has got to be one of my favorite ones. So this is the cotton candy. Um, I do like to keep packaging on some of them if I find them really cute. This one is adorable. I've got a look coming with this palette in combination with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker, but I do want to do another look with this palette just on its own. Yeah, it's really nice. I like the grey in there as well. And then star of the show, what I've got on my eyes today, we have got Galactic. Galactic is more of a spacey theme. It's got marble pans in there. Very grey toned, which I don't have a lot in my collection, so it's really nice and different. I did struggle with this, not gonna lie, but I ended up getting this really nice look, so I'm not fussed. But yeah, I really like the packaging of this as well. Right, I'm gonna go more into the Tasty range now. So I don't have everything from the Tasty range, I've just got a couple what stood out to me. So here we go, the first one is Popcorn. I did recently do two looks on this. Uh, I still wanna try it out again. I've got a look in my head, what I wanna do next with this palette. This is what it looks like. Very different, it kind of reminds me of the same vibe of the party pooches. And I don't think it smells like popcorn. No, I'm not getting the popcorn vibe. And we have got the Tasty Latte. I have had a couple of people request another video on this, so that will be coming, I just need to film it. This is really beautiful, I swatched this the other day and I still can't get over the shimmers in this palette. It is absolutely stunning just for this video. I'm not gonna do it in every single palette, but I'll go with Ice Honey. Watch it there. Like, come on, that copper shade is beautiful. Copy on that, love it. I really underestimated how well this palette is. 
in terms of like the shimmers and the textures, which is stunning. We have got the cute tasty peach palette. I've recently done a look on this. I tried to do a purple look, which someone wanted me to do. But I'm not gonna lie, this plummy shade doesn't come out purple, it comes out pink. If you've tried this shade, you tell me if this comes out purple. I'd love to know and tell me your secret to get it purple. And here, peachy, pinky princess vibes. Beautiful. Some of the glitters in here are um, a bit iffy, but you just gotta be careful. We have got a green shadow. This is the Tasty Avocado. I have dipped in this again. Um, I think it was last year, Christmas time. Yes, as you know, it will have some cool tone greens in here, some browns, a really dark green here to smoke out the eye, which is good. Tasty avocado. And of course, I've got the watermelon. So someone has requested me to do a look with this palette. All these looks are coming, trust me. I just need to find the time to do it. Um, but this video has been long awaited. I don't know, I've just been putting it off for some reason and now someone is doing housework, can you stop? Because the people have been waiting. Yeah, very colourful, bright rainbow eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm gonna whack this out in the summer, very summer vibes. I'm just gonna go random order now just to get this video done. So we have got the Marble Rose Gold palette. I recently did a look on this. Uh, it was a cool tone eyeshadow look. I used the shade Cocoa Bean and a bit of what else did I use in here? Oh, pearl, pearl as a halo. Yes, this is a very pretty eyeshadow palette. Most of the shades in here are shimmers, so this palette would be great with another palette. And we have got the Party Poochies palette. I actually ranked this number one of 2020 um, of my High Hot Revolution purchases. They've actually got another version, but I just got the Party Poochies. Yeah, the quality of this is really good. It reminds me of the quality of the Tasty palettes, but probably even better. I like how you can make a really grungy look out of this. And yeah, I really like the cool tones in this too. Very different and unique, I'd say. So we've got the strawberry cheesecake. I recently did a collab video with Jenny Ansel. We both created a look using this palette. So it was really fun, stunning. I love the packaging. And I'm really sad that this shade broke when I dropped it. It was called Sugar and that was the perfect shade to put in the inner corner. So yeah, I'm quite mad about that. Yeah, these are very stunning, girly, very pretty romantic shades. We have got the Violet palette. I remember when I first tested this out on the channel, absolutely loved it. A really good purple eyeshadow palette. That's the packaging. And here we go. I do like the colour selection in this. We've got the Chocolate Cherry. This is probably another one of my favourites with cotton candy. I really adore the packaging of the cherries and the pink and red. Oh, I just love pink and red together. It's like one of my favourite colours. Um, yeah, really nice. Smells really sweet. This palette, compared to the other palettes, smells extra, extra sweet. Like, Harry Boo sweet. Oh, I don't know, it's really nice. I just love this palette, so cute. Okay, the next ones are an oldie. These are throwback palettes, which I cannot depart from. So we have got Angel Heart, Mermaid Heart, Dragon Heart, Unicorn Heart. So let's start with Unicorn Hearts in this gorgeous holographic casing. That's a Unicorn Heart. Again, I need to do a look with this. Definitely, it's time. You can remember these palettes coming out and I did a video on the Revolution YouTube channel. That was such a long time ago. If you've been subscribed to me since then, wow. So this is the Dragon, quite nice. Um, I can't really comment much on these palettes because it's been such a long time, my opinions might change. So we have got the Mermaid Heart. Mermaid Heart, kind of reminds me of the shades that you get in the tasty vegan burger yeah and of course we've got angel heart i did a testing video on this around valentine's um very pretty these palettes by the way are on the dusty side so if you do want to get these just a heads up the full out is crazy on them yeah tasty burger drive fruit vegan burger i can't get rid of this packaging it's just like it comes with it so yeah very fancy. I've done a recent video on this. Yeah, very nice. I am trying to up my game with green eyeshadow, so that was a good 
purchase, I'd say. It was on my wish list, so yeah. What else we got? Okay, so we've got some mini palettes here. These are not the only mini palettes. I've still got stuff at the back. So I'm gonna start off with Turkish Delight. Not my favorite. Um, maybe I'd like the bigger version better, but I don't know. I actually tried to do a look this morning with this palette. I had to go with the green again. The green is just not working for me. That green, I cannot get it to work. However, I do like the shimmers in here, like the gold and the pink and the lime and the orange, they're really nice. It's just that green, just something about that green. Cute packaging though. Okay, we have got the orange and the chocolate mint. These are really good palettes, I like these. There is chocolate orange. I think the smell's gone a bit, but they did used to smell like orange, chocolate orange. Mm, this still got the minty scent. I really like this palette actually. I know it's not really minty vibes that you get out of this palette, but I still really enjoy it. It's very nice. We've got the Revolution Nude. I have recently done a video on this and this is a really nice palette. It's very occasional wear. I wore this on my graduation day. So yeah, I'm happy with this palette. It's a very go-to palette to have in your collection, I'd say. Very much of a staple palette. Black Pearl, probably my favorite uh, eyeshadow palette for a smoky eye from I Heart Revolution. The black in here is pigmented, really good. I like the silver in there as well. I enjoy this palette. And then we've got the white gold, which came out at the same time as Black Pearl. Gold packaging. And again, I really do enjoy this palette. Very nice. I'm gonna say that of all of them. There are some in here that I really don't like, so don't get me wrong. And of course, we have got the 24K Gold. This palette is very special to me because this used to be I Heart Makeup, and this was my first ever product that I Heart Revolution sent to me. A long, long time ago, I was in my second year of uni. I was just doing me YouTube and all that. One day I came back to the house and saw a package, and it was this. This was the palette that really got me into I Heart Revolution, like I Heart Makeup Hardcore. I was just converted, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. I do really like this khaki shade. We've got another mini palette. Is this a sour cherry? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really been into this since I first tested it out on my channel. It's kind of funky, wacky. I guess you could do a nice festival eyeshadow look um, with that. Okay, so we've got more mini palettes. I have got the I Heart Revolution Angel palette. This is a very cute again. I still need to go into this. Um, you could do a nice smoky eye. We have got the Heartbreakers, Joy and Cotton Candy. I have tried these both recently on my channel, so go check them out if you haven't seen them. Love the matte yellow in here. Cotton Candy, I probably prefer this one. This one's, I'd say this one's more me. I really like the pop of yellow in there with the pink and I like the peach as well. And then this is the first Heartbreakers palette I've got. This is in the shade Sweetheart. I really love this. Yeah, I, I went hard on those sh two shades. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice palette. So that was the first palette that introduced me to Heartbreakers. And now we have got some eggs. These are limited edition. I can't get rid of these because you can't get them again. So we have got the chocolate egg. I believe this has got some browns and a green in here, I think. Yeah, it's got a pink in there as well and two highlighters you can use. We have got the flamingo egg. Absolutely love this packaging. The flamingo egg, love it. We have got the chick egg. Chick egg's got my mint green packaging with white polka dots. This has got an orange in, yeah. This gives me orange vibes. And then we've got the candy egg, which is more pinky purple tones. That is in that packaging, it's dry. There we go, very fun. Onto other eggs that I got sent to me a very, very long time ago. So I've got the dragon egg, the unicorn egg, the rose gold, and the gold egg. I did have a mermaid one, but unfortunately, I don't know where that has gone. I think it broke. Here is the dragon egg. I'm hoping I Heart Revolution brings something out for Easter. Purple, this is the unicorn egg. We've got the gold egg. And the rose gold egg, which looks very pretty. We're halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. You know what's going to be a pain putting all these away? Right, we have got fruit and nut, bloody fruit and nut. Right. Please tell me if you like this palette. 
be honest. Um, I just did not get on with it. I might do a part two because maybe I was having a bad day trying it out, fruit and nut, Jesus. But I do not like the fruit and nut. <laughs> I think you can agree with me, Alex from Makeup with Alex Kate. The green is shocking. I don't know. I think I might be too harsh. Should I do a part two trying this out again? Let me know. Love the packaging though. Very dairy milk. Okay, creme brulee. So this is a very everyday palette. However, I do not like the shade in here called Chilled, which is this shade, I don't think. Very patchy. And I think the shade Torch is quite patchy too. Yeah, it's just, that's all I've got to say about this palette. Maybe I should do another video on that. Oh yeah, I might as well do a video on all of them again. I'll have part two. Cinnamon palette. Can't get over this. It's probably like the most on point scent out of all my Aha Relishing palettes. Here is a cinnamon palette. Very different. I would not expect cinnamon to look like this, but okay. It's not my favourite, but here we go. I don't really like this purple shade called Sumac. It's, yeah, I just don't get on with it. We've got Pink Fizz. I really need to give Pink Fizz a second chance because I was talking to someone on Instagram and she thoroughly enjoys this palette. And I could be, I think I am using it wrong. She says try NYX Glitter Glue or something instead of a concealer. Gives me the vibes of Rose Fizz palette. I just need to give this another chance and try a different method. Adorable packaging. Sprinkles. I've got a look coming up with this palette if it's not already up already. Very cute packaging. A total rainbow selection of colors. Um, I don't really get on with this purple called Raisin. It's actually trendier. All the purples are not working with me from these palettes. Just the ones I mentioned. I don't know why, maybe purple is really hard to work. Who knows? Nudes palette. This is the bigger version of the mini nudes. And I remember there's a shade in here, gold birthday suit, which is a baby pink, I think. Oh, it's a peach. So there is a birthday suit. You can tell if there's a dip in there. Very nice everyday nude. If you love your nudes, I guess you'd like this, yeah. You know what, there's something about that scent I really like. It's quite different. It's my eyelash still on. Right, so these are the two biggest palettes I Heart Revolution have ever come out with. We have got the Chocolate Revolution. I've done a five looks, one palette challenge with this, I think. Yeah, yeah, I have. I've done, done them with both, actually. This came with the Chocolate Gift Set around Christmas time, so unfortunately you can't get this separately as I'm filming this now. This is what it looks like. Some of the shades are 50-50 in here, as in quality, some work great, some work a bit meh, but you got loads of other shades to play with anyway. So yeah, I haven't really dipped much into the purples in this, but I do really like the warm tones and some cool tones in here. And I actually do like this black with some specks of shimmer in there too. The shimmers are nice in here. Yeah, I just need to use this more. Okay, we have got the 40 pan eyeshadow palette this is total heartbreakers i'm not gonna lie i haven't used this much ever since i've done my five looks one palette challenge with this palette i tried to see other videos on this palette but no joke when i type total heartbreakers i heart revolution the only videos that come up is mine and makeup with alex kate so this gives me a feeling that this palette didn't do as well i don't know there's just no videos on it. So these two palettes remind me of kids makeup. Um, we have got the Diamond Bright palette and the Heartbeats palette. Who remembers these on my channel? So this is Heartbeats. Yeah, I don't really use these palettes. Maybe I should one day, but I've got a loads of other palettes to get through. This is the Diamond Bright. I do like the Peridot shade in here, which is this khaki green. I must admit the shimmers in here are really lovely. Just lacking the mattes. Definitely for shorts and the shimmers. I have got my donut selection. So, which donut shall we have today? So, these are the only donuts that I've got. So, we have got the Blueberry Crush. I've actually done a raspberry icing and blueberry crush battle. <laughs> um, I'll try link the video. Um, I did this blue donut versus the pink donut and I prefer the blue one. I do really like this blue one. So I compared it with the raspberry icing which is more on the pink side of things. You've got like a pop of shimmer in the middle. I've got more of a smoky one. This is the sugared coated donut. Not my favourite smoky palette from iHeart Revolution but 
it still did the job. I still prefer black pearl. Now, this is probably my favorite ever donut that I've got. This is the custard fill, beautiful. This in the summer, when the sun hits you, you're gonna be beaming. Such a stunning palette for summer. <sighs> my, my mouth is dry. Right, we have got the Rocky Road. I don't think I got on with the Rocky Road. No, I probably need to try it out again. Adorable packaging, brown and the pink. This is what it looks like. I kind of wish the packaging matched what it looked like inside a bit. Maybe we could have like a, a dark brown, but no, we've, we've just got this, but it's okay. Um, I need another go of it because I can't really tell you for sure. I just need some days, some days the palettes work okay, some days it just depends what mood I'm in. This is the rose gold palette. Um, very pretty. That's what it looks like. Very nice, very nice indeed. We've got the I Hot Revolution Honey. This is quite new to my collection, yeah. This, uh, someone requested a video of me um, combining this with the cinnamon palette. I still need to film that, but here we go. This is a perfect palette to bring out in the springtime. Yes, it smells very different to your regular chocolate palette. Okay, we have got Black Cherry. I've actually done a video on this, I don't know if it's up yet, but I created a nice purple halo. I still get confused with the colour selection. That's just me though, um, trying to break down the palette. We have got Peanut Butter Cup. Really nice cool tone shades in here. I think this shade when I tried it was a bit dodge. That's called Case, I don't know. Actually, I don't know which shade it was, it's just a long time ago, but yeah, peanut butter cup. Okay, so I'm on my last bit of palettes. Rose Fizz Glow, is it? No, Rose Fizz Palette. You'll see in a recent video on this. That's what it looks like, very neutral base palette. It's got some, a bit of rosy shades in there, not overload though, but it's got some nice gold shimmers. I cannot wait to have a drink. Right, we've got the red velvet. Someone wanted a video on this. I've actually in the middle of doing a five looks one palette challenge with this but however I filmed it around Christmas time so it's going to be very old and probably different how I normally do my eyeshadow now but I don't, I don't know where to upload it still. Either way, I still like this palette, very nice, the hot pink, wow, such a showstopper, yeah. We have got two palettes that came in the chocolate gift set together. We have got the Ginger and Nut and the Berry Meringue. I swear in the video I kept saying Berry Meringue. Um, yeah, it's Meringue. This is probably one of my favourite pinky palettes out of Hot Revolution palettes collection that I've got. I feel like I can't speak. Yeah, really nice pink palette. Ginger and Nut. I like the contrast between the two palettes. Very different tones. Nice selection colours there. And I've actually got the Ahat Revolution 90s palette. I did actually originally have the noughties and the 80s, but I've decluttered both of those. Um, someone else, I just gave it to someone else. But I kept 90s because it's very pinky and I just thought it was me. Yeah, I really like this. This is so cute. I'm on the last three. Um, wow, okay. Last three, of course. We have got the Disney collection. Princess and the Frog, Beauty and the Beast, and Cinderella. So my favorite ones out of this is probably Beauty and the Beast. So that's where it looks like. It opens up like a storybook. How stunning. The green in that shimmer is popping, love it. This is Beauty and the Beast. Voila. Thought it broke on me then. Love this. Looks quite sophisticated. The shades do, the shade colours. I've actually done part two makeup looks on these palettes except for Princess and the Frog. I still need to film that. Um, yeah, I've done a video on this. I just need to film part two at some point. So this is Princess and the Frog. I love Tiana's lip gloss with this collection. Ooh, that was a bit tough to open. Yeah, this palette is probably the hardest one to know what look to do. I think it's because, you know, greens are not my forte. I'm still working with it. The blushes are too deep for me. I kind of can get away with this highlighter. Wow, that is everything. I think that is 74. I mean, you can count them if you like, if you've got the time. 
if you do let me know in the comments how many you counted that is the end of my video i think i've gone on for a bit because i've never had such a dry mouth in my life and i am parched after all that talking my jaw is hurting um yeah i think that is everything i'm just looking around of course i didn't include everything in my collection because that would be that would be a film duration so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do let me know in the comments what kind of looks you want to see me using these palettes. I am on my way to do more look makeup looks with these palettes. I, yeah, the collection, it just keeps growing and growing and I, I don't know when to stop. So if you did enjoy this video, do hit subscribe down below. And if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And I am going to leave you there. I hope you have a lovely day, night, wherever time watching this. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.